Hello everybody, welcome back to Ogopa, I'm Ogo and this is another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Hey, Rogue. Got the scratch. 15,000 eddies. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Helmet, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. But couldn't someone else... <laughs> Go ahead. Enjoy. To your help. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Talking while drinking. You're really good to do that. In the same moment you are drinking, I mean. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch, but she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see okay. what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. Okay. But it does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Okay. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Mm. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. What's the there bad news? Is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look. I guess. And I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, <laughs> hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Okay. Mm -hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. Okay. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But, okay. right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Okay. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Okay. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious fire. Interesting power. that you get that. Just won't work. It's with not about fire. One. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So, a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan I think is someone who's uh, local. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. Oh, the she nomads. She knows those lands, and she will help you. Won't have a choice. Nomads have a choice? don't live in Night City. It does not sound enticing. Or in any of the not other cities. Her, not for me. They're enticing out there in the desert. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the 
depth of shit they're in. Oh, but you're okay. right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take. Yep, on everything it seems. Okay. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch, pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job, well, wasn't a good day for her. Ooh. She run into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, fee. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Oh, yeah. Lucky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels, too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, finally. Let's All get clear. out of here. Thanks. Good luck. Of love. <laughs> That's right. And the drink's name. Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. You definitely go for a drink. Tough day. I don't like any of it. Okay. So, what'll it be? A Jackie Wells. If we can. Uh tough day. Thanks. What for? No problem. Just holler if you need This is booming. See it yourself? Folks always get thirsty and we're here when we look. The afterlife. Working. No real complaints. Complaints are rare, and when they do happen, killer. No word. Hey, what kids? Okay, cannot go in there. Someone at the afterlife. Mm -hmm. So, what is it you want? Actually, wanted to talk about what you want. Is that so? The merch you lost and your ride. You want him back? Let's talk. Hmm. That's so. Ah, rogue and confidentiality. I might have known. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. So that one's quite far away. Not that 
far away. Oh, oh well. I will start buying the vehicles and if I can. Oh, sorry. I think they're tied to some kind of achievement. Uh, like buy all of them or something along those lines. So why not start working on these? Those. I know what I mean. And I have to say, that was a good tip from her. I mean, 15,000 eddies isn't nothing, but could be worse. And it really seems like this woman might be able to help us. Yeah, I have enough money. Sorry for the flashlights. As in the flashing lights, not a flashlight. <laughs> You understand what I mean? Sorry, if not. Just didn't find any leash. Your jeans were fine, Barry. You know what? You were the strongest son of a bitch. Yes, doing it like this might be faster. What are you? Down would not have been a good idea, I guess. So the pack has changed positions. Oh, so now I can move my food finally. Sorry, guys, my nose is itching a bit. She knows and stuff. Um, wait. Isn't there usually a way to? Yeah. mission uh, over there that's I think 
that. You know what? Um. Call Mr. Hans. What? Hey, what's shaking? Need to make contact with the Booty Boys chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'll be Memo Brigitte. And on my way, I will go for. That attached the target. Okay. Um, I will go for you on the way. Be tough getting a word into her. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah, now that sounded like my third wife every time <laughs> she wanted a new purse. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Well, I've not had the pleasure of asking her personally. And you better not, but since it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. You know, that voice reminds me of the Arkham Batman Arkham series of the Riddler. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But... Have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Oh, wow. I haven't analyzed. Hmm. Okay, let's wait. It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh secluded here exactly what he wants it is appropriate for such a secret meeting <laughs> what the hell happened look close to awful you see a man robbed of his implants money and dignity look well it is not all bad i am mostly unnoticed in so that it will not happen to you something along those lines Friend you mentioned here, Oda, he should be here any moment now. Any moment? Only finally to give me the spec on him. He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Okay. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing, very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. Well... By God, huh? A good sign. 
He's usually camouflaged. Okay, so usually you cannot see him. Well, that's something, I guess. Oh, 20 minutes in, okay, so we still have time. I guess he will attack me immediately as Takemura-san. Oda. Strange. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness. He can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. I drink and I know things. Was there? Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Right. Is she in <laughs> danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring oh, well. you his witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inabu. Sorry, but... Is this gonna take much longer? Let's just cut. What in. would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda! You? What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Okay, so we will have be to fight him. Be careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour of soccer whack job is already plenty. say we didn't try we tried yes and obtained something useful that is how do you figure that what Oda said they returned to Tokyo after the parade okay do you not see the parade it is our chance perhaps if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest Schism? security in all night city. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. Or just a fixer dame. Kaku Akata runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Yeah. Will you join me? Sure. Why not? Oh, man. Ah, shit. City name. Beware, you mock me too often. Well, but you're mm. right, Goro. Yes, why the sudden concern? 
have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? That's chess. not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. Yeah, we need you. I am alive and well. As you can see, you shouldn't worry about yourself. <laughs> Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Ah, darn it. Yorino and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. Uh, but the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Yeah, I think I can see that. Ah, okay, so no, now there's nothing else we would be able to talk about. Ugh. Could... Can I please get out of here? <laughs> pure and utter madness. This music, it's pure and utter madness. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan. We begin. So, um... You know what? I think we will meet up with uh, Wakako with Wakako in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.